We're live. We're live. Hey, it's Chris Homestead and Hardway. This is going to be a short video. I'm beat down pretty good today, but uh, I promised somebody I was going to do it, so we're going to do it. We're going to talk about betters and cultivators. One row, and uh, like I said, it's going to be a quick video, so we're not going to cover everything, but we're going to kind of hit some bases. This is a Pittsburgh cultivator frame. Set up the bed. If you can see the disc at the bottom, they just pull the dirt off both sides and pull it up into a mound. Now, if you broadcast your fertilizer, <laughs> that's the best Sassy way to do it. Sassy wants to be in a video, sorry. There's a couple of uh, other advantages to it. You know, it gets stuff elevated a little bit, so if you have heavy rain, it won't ground so bad. Now, you don't have to have the back plows. You can just have a toolbar with a disc, and I'll show you a little toolbar I made. She'll cut it off and bring it over here. Now, this is a toolbar I made, and if I'd made it a little wider, you could have put those discs on it. Those clamps are the same ones that are used on a one-row farm all, and that's a piece of solid stock, the same size as the toolbar on a one-row farm all. And I don't know what size it is, got measured. This is a Pittsburgh frame set up to cultivate. And right now it's spaced out wide to go over potatoes. And you can put several different kinds of plows on it. But this would go, these go in here to plow up close. Which I've got to put them on tomorrow to plow some cabbage. And you can use uh, tile plows, sweeps, whatever you want to call them to pull dirt up to something. But I really like these Pittsburgh frames. And as you see, this one was pulled out of the woods, had pieces missing. We made stuff to go on it. They vary in price anywhere from free, get it out of my way, to four or five hundred dollars. Just depends on what you find. One with a fertilizer distributor on it would be great. I haven't been able to find one yet that was in good enough shape you could get the distributor working. And all of these were two row. And they've been cut down to one row. If you see the ends have been cut. Now, if you have a utility tractor, a little small utility tractor, the toolbar would be a better option. And I think they sell them at like Northern Tool, uh, some of you box farm stores. I haven't seen any at Tractor Supply, but I'm not going to say they don't have them. But that toolbar with the two discs would be suitable to run a row. You could also probably put two 12-inch plows on it and split your middles. We tend everything on a 46, 48-inch row. But if you have a compact tractor, you can't set your row spacing like you want to. Like this 35 Ferguson would do two 38s or might would do two 30s. And I wouldn't have to do it one row. It actually doesn't go in quite narrow enough to, to really be a one row tractor. It'll go into about 51 inches. But the difference between 48 and 51 isn't enough to really be a concern. And we have another smaller Ferguson tractor that will go in. But maybe that'll help you a little bit to give you some ideas. And you can you can mount a row in other ways. You, there are. Uh, there's other types of plows you could use to do it, but we like the disc where it pulls all the fertilizer and everything you've put out into that row. Really, the other ways you're doing it, you're just kind of making the illusion of making a row, maybe. But like I said, it's a little quick by request video. I appreciate you watching. Hope it helps you. Y'all have a good evening.